blackness, that black power. I don't really consider myself as a black girl model. I know what my ethnicity is, but I'm fair skinned and I feel like I have an international look. I am black, but I am not African American. I'm an American. I'm not an African American. I'm an American. I'm an American. Yeah. I'm not an African American. And I'm going to ask you to stop calling me a black man. I am not black. I'm not African. <laughs> I'm American. We are not African. We are two separate people. The Africans are a disgusting people. These statements show a clear confusion in how blacks identify. Do they reject blackness? Or are they misunderstandings about what blackness truly is? Let's define race, ethnicity, and nationality. Race is a mode of categorization that's based on physical appearance. So in the case of jelly beans, race is color. Because race is based on appearance, to some degree it's ascribed, meaning that people are assigned into racial categories based on what other people see. Even if somebody could be mistaken for a certain racial category, it can still apply to them. Ethnicity refers to the ethnic group or groups that a person belongs to. It's a part of a person's heritage and ancestry. In the case of jelly beans, ethnicity is like the flavor. Two people who are in the same racial group can still have very different ethnicities. For example, all of these are red, but this one is cinnamon and this one is cherry. The word nationality refers to someone's national origin, the country where they hold citizenship. For jelly beans, it's like the bag that a bean comes from. People of the same race or ethnicity can come from all different nations, like the watermelon bean that's in Camo Mix and Kids Mix, or the lemon lime bean that's in all three. I am not black. I'm not an African American. I'm an American! I'm from Africa, I'm from Crenshaw Mafia. <laughs> Now you from Africa. I'm from Africa. You from Africa, you African booty scratcher. <laughs> there are fools in this, this country who try to claim that they are not Africans, who claim that they do not see color, as if they're not seeing color makes any difference in the world. Simply because you don't see color doesn't mean somebody does not see you as color. At some point in life, everyone embarks on a journey to determine who they are. A person's identity is predominantly determined by the groups or cultures they belong to. This is what's known as cultural identity. It is part of a person's self-conception and self-perception and is related to race, ethnicity, nationality, religion, social class, generation, locality, or any kind of social group or construct that has its own distinct culture. Let's understand, culture gives us at least three things. Identity, purpose, and direction. It lets the people know who they are in the world, how they relate to other people in the world. It tells them what they need to be about, their purpose. And it gives them a way to go about living their life. It gives them direction. It binds us to each other. It gives us identity. It gives us a reason for surviving. And then it tells us Woo. who we should live for and who we should die for if we have to. The degree to which one is aware of their cultural identity is crucial to how he or she sees themselves and their relationship to the world. When an individual or a group struggles to develop a strong identity, they experience what is generally known as an identity crisis, a period of uncertainty and confusion in which a person's sense of identity becomes insecure, typically due to a change in their expected aims or role in society. And this precisely describes the historic experience of black people. Somebody told a lie one day. The greatest tragedy to beset the black race is unarguably the transatlantic slave trade. Families were broken up and Africans were spread all around the world. And out of this grew an identity crisis within the black community. The Arab slave trade 
one of the great tragedies in the history of Africa. And it is a tragedy equal to, if not surpassing, the European slave trade. But the Arabs, at a given time, took uh, up to 30, 40 million Africans out of Africa. I don't give a damn about slavery. You say that you, that slavery has nothing to do with you and slavery was back there. And I ask you the question then, what language do you speak? Was that the language African people were speaking when we were taken into slavery? What kind of food do you eat? What kind of uniforms are we wearing? What kind of names do we respond to? Hi, Steve. Hi. Is this the religion you had before you were brought to these shores? We have let another people's spirit take possession of our bodies and take possession of our minds. We must re reclaim our identity, our culture, our history and a true understanding of self because we keep inheriting the disadvantage that our ancestors went through and it has never been addressed and that's why you still see it perpetuated throughout the world in every place where we occupy we are the bottom of the society one of the only reasons in the uh, that we in the west have never organized we have hated our image and our african image and because Africa has been in the hands of people who have created an image of Africa that's negative and hateful. And uh, it has been hateful to us. We haven't wanted to identify with it. I don't really consider myself as a black girl model. I'm fair skinned and I feel like I have an international look. Who taught you to hate the color of your skin to such extent that you bleach to get like the white man? I'm an American, and that's a colorless person. Don't be ashamed of your heritage. Don't be ashamed of your color. And I'm going to ask you to stop calling me a black man. I am black and beautiful, and not ashamed to say it. <laughs>